Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray edition of The Prince of Egypt. The Prince of Egypt is here on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, released by Universal. It comes in a slipcover edition, available to local and online retailers. Now, when it comes to the film, I always felt that animation as a genre could be some of the most beautiful ways to watch and enjoy a movie. The Prince of Egypt certainly falls under this category, and I would definitely put this up against the contemporary Disney films of the time, and I just think the animation style is gorgeous. When you think of DreamWorks now, you of course are going to think of Shrek, Puss in Boots, How to Train Your Dragon, Kung Fu Panda, but very few people realize that this was made by DreamWorks, and I honestly wish that they would have made more movies of this caliber. I mean, I feel the studio was really finding its footing at that point, and while I enjoyed those other movies, I just would have liked a little bit more when it comes to animation. This movie has an outstanding voice cast. I mean, Val Kilmer as Moses, um, you have Ray Fiennes, Sandra Bullock, Michelle Pfeiffer, uh, Jeff Goldblum. I, I mean, I could go on and on. There's a lot of great talent. And also, I feel that the score and music are particularly memorable in this movie. This has a winning combination. It's just a shame it just didn't really catch more on to pop culture, but it is fantastic. Honestly, this is one of the most visually striking movies out there, both in animated and live action, and I really enjoyed it. It's something I go back to every few years, and if you've never seen it, I do highly encourage you to give it a watch. It is well worth your time. All right, we're going to talk about the picture quality and the audio in just a moment, but first, let's do a quick unboxing. Okay, we have the 4K Ultra HD slipcover edition of The Prince of Egypt. I like the gold accentuating, you know, some of the, some of the pieces of jewelry there. Um, yeah, I think, you know, poster art is, is always fine, so I like it. Let me the back. And the spine. Interior, same deal. And then some artwork on the 4K desk itself, so. Yeah, very nice. Looks good. Now let's talk about the picture quality and the audio. The Prince of Egypt on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray has a 185 to 1 aspect ratio with native 4K resolution and graded with HDR10. Now, reportedly the film underwent a restoration for this 25th anniversary edition. The resulting image is arguably better than its Blu-ray counterpart, but there are still some noticeable specks of dirt and blemishes that populate the picture from time to time. I suspect also that some light grain management was applied, though I feel it didn't overly smooth out the image. Grain is still visible, but very light in density. The animation style is allowed much more room to breathe with a newfound clarity. Details are very much improved across the board to the point that the Blu-ray, the image just seemed blurry in comparison. Just look at the wall carvings within the palace for a good example. Going back to the Blu-ray for a moment, I've always felt that the film's palette was a little drab in spots, but thankfully this has been rectified on the new 4K. The film has some beautiful animation, which only now I feel has reached its potential with the new transfer. HDR doesn't alter the color space in a way that would be considered melt your eyeballs. Instead, it accentuates parts of the film that sorely needed it. The burning bush, for example, beautifully illuminates the screen now, as do the various plagues that befall Egypt. The blood in the Nile River is the appropriate shade of red. On the Blu-ray, it had a bit of a cranberry juice appearance. In addition, the Reign of Fire and the Angel of Death moments are absolutely striking. I wouldn't consider the HDR grading a blanket application, and I for one appreciate the restraint in turning the film into something it's not. The improvements are certainly noticeable and easy to spot from the get-go. The Prince of Egypt on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray supports a new DTSX audio presentation. Just as the HDR improved the picture, the DTSX certainly ramps up things in the audio department. If you've seen the film, you can probably imagine just where the height channels would come into play and you would be right. Two notable sequences, the Angel of Death and Parting of the Red Sea, make full use of that space which should be pleasing to audiophiles. Intermittent ambience also populate the heights that help pull the listener into the film. Surround output that consists of both score and musical beats add to an already great atmospheric experience. The film has some wonderful immersive activity and the DTSX dishes it out well. The low end has some surprising heft to it. When Moses and Ramesses are racing their chariots and the wall gives way, the sub punches through in a way that the previous 5.1 didn't. The Red Sea sequence, my personal favorite part of the movie, also hits hard in the sub, which should satisfy most audiophiles. 
For the picture quality, I'm going to give The Prince of Egypt on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray a solid A. One of my favorite animated films of the late 90s was given a very nice visual upgrade. With HDR, the grading is respectful in its application and the restored picture looks good. This is a highly recommended upgrade. For the audio mix, I'm going to score this one in A as well. The DTS-X audio mix gives listeners a more than satisfying experience. The energetic score and music are nicely realized and the atmospheres play very well in the surround environment. Fans will no doubt enjoy this audio. So that is my review of The Prince of Egypt on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. If you're interested in picking up a copy for yourself, I will leave an Amazon link in the comments section. If you use it, it really helps out the channel. But if you have the disc already, let me know your thoughts down below. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.